Only on six right now, we are getting answers on what neighbors are calling an illegal dumping ground. A viewer sent us this picture. This is from the area outside a local Salvation Army donation site. So we sent Joel Iwanaga to investigate. He's live tonight in Tennisborn. And I guess, Joel, this dumping ground continues to grow. Well, and good evening to you. Yes, even from this afternoon, we've seen a number of people dropping off, well, useless items like this carpet over here, a damaged barbecue, even a garbage disposal. Keep in mind, this is a clothing only Salvation Army Donation Center right here in the middle of this Barnes and Noble parking lot. But, well, take a look. As you can see, it's now a dumping ground. It's disappointing that people could actually use that. They just go drop it off at the. When Bobby Sisney and other neighbors walked by this Salvation Army clothing only donation center, this is what greeted them. They call it an illegal dumping ground, a growing junkyard, if you will, in the Tannisborn Barnes and Noble parking lot. People not taking no respect or for other people's property. And neighbors say the trash, old carpet, this barbecue and garbage disposal are not only eyesores, but could pose as safety hazards. They say this donation site has been closed for days. So I went to the Salvation Army for answers. Uh, they used it as a dumping ground, that parking lot, over the weekend. Your thoughts on that, Captain Dennis? Well, those who want to help us uh, know how to help us, and those that are trying to get rid of other items is often a problem. Captain Dennis Earnhardt tells me the employee in charge of this site likely called in sick and a replacement wasn't found. But I've learned while expensive to clean up, people will often use the Salvation Army as a free disposal service, stuff like this, that can never be donated. What message do you have for the neighbors who are upset by this, this junkyard of sorts that was in the parking lot? Well, Folks, we're really sorry about this. Uh, what you can do to help us is to call us immediately. The Salvation Army tells me this will be cleaned up. Neighbors hope to never see something like this again. We're back live here at Tannisborn tonight, where the Salvation Army tells me 99% of the people, well, they have good intentions about donating. Just takes a few bad apples to produce something like this. We, of course, will stay on top of the Salvation Army and make sure this does, in fact, get cleaned up. Reporting live here in Beaverton, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Jeff and Ann will send it back to you. Jeff